from now on. Uh, my name is Kelly DeClo Estes, and I am a first time self published children's author. And this is actually the first anniversary of my children's book that came out a year ago, just in time for COVID. And it's called Cats with a Box. Here's the cover. And it's illustrated by a lady who lives in California at the moment. She is an art teacher. She also does pet portraits on the side. That's her side hustle, and she's very good at it. And you'll be able to tell by the illustrations. Isn't the cover beautiful? I'll get the angle right here. Okay, there it is. Um, so this is a book that was inspired by my cats. And it's interesting to watch cats when you have a box at the house. So here we go. When you leave out an open box. A cat will jump inside. Walking in a circle, he sniffs the four corners and crinkles the brown paper. He likes how the paper feels and he starts to knead it, you know, make biscuits. The cat stretches and kneads the paper until it is flat. Then the cat lays down and takes a nap. Suddenly, the cat hears a noise. He slowly opens one eye and sits up. There's another cat walking by. Time for some fun. Staying crouched in the box, the cat waits for just the right time. In a flash, the cat springs out from the box. He jumps on the back of the other cat, and it's a surprise attack. The two cats tumble and wrestle on the floor. They hiss and stare at one another. Then the cats chase each other across the room. They turn one way, turn around, and then run the other way. The cats make a sound like galloping horses. Notice the mane and the smoke from, from all the galloping they do. To take a rest, one cat, one cat squirms behind the couch. Thinking she has her playmate trapped, the cat creeps closer to the couch from under the table. With one pounce, she has him. <gasps> or does she? Where'd he go? Where did the other cat go? It's not there behind the couch. What happened? He jumped back in the box. He quietly walks in a circle. He sniffs the corners and crinkles the brown paper. He slowly stretches 
and kneads the paper. And when the paper is flat, the cat lays down and takes a nap. That's pretty much the end of the book. It's very short. It's specifically designed for preschoolers, early readers. So people in elementary school can read this. Um, this is available on Amazon if you are so interested. I have also been running a special where you can purchase it for me directly through my webpage and you will get an autographed copy and a couple of bookmarks um, for, for an additional fee. So if you are so interested, you can go to my website, kellydees.com, and click on the Share Your Love button, and there will be a drop-down box, and you will be able to make an order from there. Uh, if you just want to order one from Amazon, that's fine, too. Um, that proceeds, part of the proceeds from the sales of this book will actually go to uh, the Richmond SPCA. So um, the more books that are purchased, the, the more cats and dogs that get to be fed and taken care of. So I hope you enjoyed this and check me out on Facebook.